Yeah, so um, Zoragala started um, in 2016. Uh, June 2016, we sold our first uh, draft. So that's when we officially started. But it's been in the pipeline for since about 2014. Beginning of 2014, we started with the project, um, got everything together, got investors on board, and um, then started building end of 2015 and sold our, sold our first beer on the, I think it was like the 2nd of June or something like that. So beer, well, first of all, I think, because I love beer, <laughs> so that, that's what happened first. Um, and yeah, I started, I was, when I was studying in Stellenbosch, I started working at a bar and uh, it was, I think it was 2010, around about then. And then we got our first uh, draft machine in the bar and it was craft beer. And I tasted it and I was like, yes, yeah, so this tastes pretty good. And um, yeah, then we, then from there, myself and my parents started chatting about it and we thought it would be a nice addition to the farm and to the area so yeah then then i started learning how to make beer and yeah so since about 2011 i've been brewing um home brewing first of all just in the kitchen um, my first beer didn't taste the best but i still drank it and it did the job <laughs> but after that you just started learning from everyone and yeah it was it's been quite an experience and yeah it's taught me that beer beer isn't just a simple a simple thing to make you really have to know what you're doing so we do, we have, um, we currently actually have four beers. Um, we have the, the Limpopo Lager, which um, is a crisp, refreshing lager, one of our most popular selling beers. Then we have the Naked Ale, which is a more malt, um, it's got more of a malty flavor. So a lot of the malts that we use come through, um, but it's an ale and yeah, also one of, one of the favorites. So we've won prizes for those two. And then we do have the Weiss beer, the Weissbier is a <clears throat> typical German uh, Hefeweizen and lots of banana and cloves come through in the taste, but very sessionable. And then our last beer is the Weekend Special. Um, and that's a, a, a hybrid beer between a, um, an IPA and a Weissbier. So we, we kind of uh, put those two together and we also add fresh lemongrass to it. So yeah, then we, then we also, I'm um, busy busy experimenting with mango in a beer. So we got that in a tank right now. And uh, made a Moringa beer for somebody. And yeah, we, we, we like to experiment. Moringa is a, it's a tree um, that has amazing energy quality. So, so it's like a Red Bull when you drink the stuff. So yeah, so it's a, it's a tree that, I think it comes from the Central Africa, but they grow it in Zanin. And they, yeah, it's, it's, they, it's quite a big traded plant. Yeah, it's got good medicinal quality. So we currently at 13,000 liters every six weeks. Um, and our biggest time of selling would be December, uh, November, December. So yeah, we're still, we're still quite small in comparison to the other breweries, but yeah, we, we're putting a little mark in South Africa. So excited. Plan for it is we we plan to export lots of our beer. Um, so we plan to distribute to the whole to the whole of South Africa, um, and yeah, become quite a big uh, household name and a big um, a well-known South African exported product. So yeah, very excited for the future. So we so you can you can look on our website online as wagalabrewery.com and we have all our outlets there. Um, you can buy it online with uh, Yuppie Chef. And yeah, you can pretty much go into most of the bottle stores in Johannesburg and um, in Heinertsburg yeah, and Zanin. And they all, most of them stock our product. And yeah, so it's, it's a good product and people really like it. And we have, a, we have a really good following and yeah, it's, it's exciting to be part of this. Oh, and I will give myself to you I will give myself to you Ooh.